I am Dr. Vishwanath, Consultant Nephrologist and HOD Nephrology. I am working at Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. Treatment of chronic kidney disease depends on various stages. Stage 1, 2 and 3 are early stages where basically there will be no medication specific for kidney disease. You need to control the underlying cause. Like if you have diabetes, control diabetes well, keep the sugars under control. If you have blood pressure, control the blood pressure well. Suppose somebody is smoking, quit smoking. Smoking is something which is highly toxic, not only involves heart, it involves kidney, eyes, all the organs, lungs, definitely it's going to affect. So if somebody is smoking, quitting smoking is very important. And as I said earlier, avoiding things which are harmful to the kidney like painkillers, if you have any infection, urinary infection, kidney infection, treat it appropriately. These are the things most important in the early stage. In stage 4, where there is a significant dysfunction, where almost 60%, 70% of the kidney is damaged, here you should be more important in controlling the blood pressure, controlling things which are harmful to the kidney, make sure you reduce the protein in the urine. There are some specific medications which we can use to protect kidney, like what we call as AC inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers which are proven to help preventing further progression. Beyond this, when somebody reaches stage 5 or when there is kidney damage more than 85-90%, beyond that we cannot maintain with medications. Once they reach stage 5, the only option is to go for either dialysis or if they are fit enough to go for a kidney transplant. <music>